everyone understanding the yeah. So today, English meeting, and it's going to be like this always. <laughs> Amen. So, Brother Clement, you are a blessing for us. God bless you. Amen. So, let us turn to the Lord of God, the book of Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4, verse 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived a bare cat and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a uh, tiller of the ground. Lord Jesus, bless the reading of your word. In your name we pray, we say, Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. 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 So today, I've got a little subject that I'm going to share. And the title is, God's Order of Worship is... Genesis 6 chapter, as we we're talking about Genesis 6 chapter, but Abraham said that there's two books Satan hates. Satan doesn't like the book of Genesis and the book of Revelation. That's the two books that Satan doesn't like. And in the book of Genesis, Abraham said that this book is a seed chapter. And if you understand everything in the book of Genesis, all the Bible is going to be clear for you. So it's going to bring a good understanding. That's the reason why we chose to go back in the book of Genesis. We are just going uh, step by step as a Bible study and with Barabalam's quotes as well. And in this book here, we're going to talk about Abel and Cain. These two people here, they used to worship in the same church. Both of them, they used to worship the same God. Amen? Amen. Both of them, they built altars, worshiping the same God. But, you've, you've got to notice something was taking place there. It was that one was against the other. That's the reason why I said Abel vs. Cain. So, the battle in the same church. But what was making the difference? Be before we go there, I would like to talk first a little bit on the serpent seed. We spoke about it for a long time, but I would like to emphasize on that as well for us to get the picture. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 4, and Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And so many religious people was confused on this one. Because the Bible says, Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived, and she bare Cain. And people said, oh, you see, Cain is the son of Adam. Praise God for Barabana. And when Barabana came, he said, notice on the second verse, the Bible says, and she again bear his son. Adam knew if just once. But if gave birth to two children. And Barbara said that both of them was twins. Why it was like that? It's because when Eve went with the serpent, so she was found pregnant. And Barabana said that God was about to kill Eve, but Adam, for the love of his wife, Adam also went to put his seed. So Eve became the tree. Amen? That tree brought two people. Okay. This is Eve. And in Eve, there was Adam, it, there was the serpent first, okay? So, the seed of the serpent was in Eve. Because of this seed, God was about to kill Eve. And Adam, knowing that, 
The only way for me to protect my wife, my lovely wife, amen. Mm -hmm. So you see here, Adam, <laughs> because of the love of his wife, Adam said that if I leave this wife, she's gonna die. Because Adam knew that Eve was him in another form. And today, who can die for his wife? <laughs> my wife. <my. laughs> who can do it? <laughs> So Adam didn't condemn Eve for what she did. I'm not saying that woman you must do that, you're gonna forgive you. I'm not <laughs> trying to say that. But I'm, I'm just trying to show you the attitude of Adam toward his wife. He saw that my wife is gonna die because she's gone in her womb the seed of the serpent. And that seed of the serpent is against God. Before God to come. Adam went also to put his seed. Amen? So now, if had two seeds in her womb, both children was twins, but one was from Satan and one was from Adam. And Adam was the son of God. Amen? Oh, Satan. Okay. And the woman is the church. Amen? Amen. So in every church, we've got those two seeds. Whatever, even as a message church, Amen. with Paraguayan's picture, you must know that we've got two seeds in it. Amen. And as long as you have two seeds in the church, you must know that there must be a battle. In Balaam's message, to sit. Now, what took place? This church called Eve had two seeds on it. And she produced two children. One, they gave the name of Abel. And one, the name of Cain. Both of them, the children of Eve. Because if is if means the mother of the living. Both came from if from the same church. Now, when they were born, now you're gonna notice now the difference between two of them. Now, natural seed of Abel was Adam. Okay? His spiritual seed in his soul, it was God Himself. Okay, he was the gene of Adam. Now, Ken here, the natural gene of Ken was the serpent. His spiritual seed was Satan. Because Satan came to incarnate himself in the serpent. And Balaam said that the serpent wasn't an eternal. He was a man. He was speaking. If you see in the Bible, he spoke to Eve. But the Bible said that he was trying to plant his seed in the mind of Eve first. Everything, anyway, everything we do, it must be in the thought first. If you see this pulpit here, it was in, my, in the thought of someone. Someone had to think about it first, and then he put it in. He put it like this. So, before Satan to plant his seed, Satan through the serpent spoke to Eve. It was two people speaking, talking. And then when Eve was deceived, Satan put his seed inside. When the seed of Satan was there, Adam also put his seed there. Now he got both children. Two of them was twins, yeah? But they wasn't brothers at all. They wasn't brothers. So, being to go together in the message, it doesn't mean that we are brothers and sisters. That's the reason you see very bad spirit, wicked spirit in the message. They can even kill you. Gossip in the message. 
Because those who are, they are not the children of God. They are the children of Satan. They came from the seed of Satan. So now, what was make the difference? So when they went to worship, Adam was trying to see what was in God's mind. Amen. But came him, the only thing he was looking for is going to church. That's the only thing Cain was looking for. As long as he goes to church, that's it. But Abel was trying to see first what is in God's mind. Amen. Before me to make the altar, I want to know first what God thinks. So I'm trying to represent what is in God's mind. That's the reason I see people in denomination, they are going to church, but they don't mind what God says. So in that position, they'll be waiting for the promises to be out, fulfilled and they will never see anything. Amen. As it was in the time of Jesus, Jesus was the promise people was waiting for. So the reason of their churches, it was that the Messiah will come. So one day the Messiah came and those people still go to church. Instead of looking for the promise being fulfilled, they still go to church, worshiping, singing. But what I'm saying that, the psalms they were singing is what was taking place to the mountain. Singing for Jesus, for the Messiah, when the Messiah was crucified on the mountain. So they went to see them. So we've heard that the king of Jew is born here. And the king said, go and ask the king, uh, the, the preachers. So the preachers came, they came with their books. So open the books, they said, yes, he must be born in Bethlehem of Judea. And then what they did, instead of to look or to search if the king is really born, so they went back to church. And but one said that all those preachers were the seed of Cain. Amen. In the gym, they were the children of Abraham. They told Jesus, We are the children of Abraham. Jesus said, If you are the children of Abraham, you recognize me. <laughs> so how come you are looking to kill me? How can you kill someone before because the person says that he doesn't believe like you? Why do you make it a problem? But I want to say that we believe in the freedom of religion. Yes. Amen. Everyone is free to believe what he wants to. Yes. As long as you can prove it with the message, that person is not your enemy. Mm -hmm. If someone's trying to make you his enemy because of the revelation, that means it's the seed of Cain. Yes. That's the only way to know that this person is not a child of God. They make things here, they put you in trouble, they take people against you, but when they see you, they smile to you. Oh, brother, God bless you. Oh, brother, I like you. Oh, you're a wonderful brother. When it goes there, say, be careful that brother. He preaches false doctrines. Seed of Cain. And the difference between of them two was the revelation. But the Bible said that Abel understood that it was about the blood. So he took a lamb which was representing Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. He came to sacrifice. Amen. He said, but Cain here took the fruit. That is the reason today people say that in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, they ate fruit. It doesn't make sense. So eating fruit, with, what is bad? Eating fruit. So do you, do, do you want to get married first before to, get, uh, to, to eat fruit? No. So what I'm saying that it was about mixing blood. Amen. So the mixed blood, that's the reason why the lamb was slain in the mind of God before the foundation of the world. Amen. Now, Amen. Abel went in the mind of God, he saw the lamb was slain. And Abel came to represent what was in the mind of God. Amen. I always say that God doesn't like what is good, no. God likes what is in his mind. Even if it doesn't seem good, but for God is what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. So God has got his meaning behind the word. Has got the, the concept behind the word. When God tells you something, when God tells you about the blood, so you think that the blood is uh, a red liquid. That's what they told us. Mm -hmm. But that one is a false doctrine. So you can use your eyes, you see the blood, you say, oh, this is the blood, it's red. Mm -hmm. 
But when God comes, God says, blood, blood means life. But I want to say that if it's about the red liquid in the body of Jesus Christ, it's not enough for the atonement for everyone. Amen. He said it's about the life Zoe in Christ coming in the people. Yes. That's the reason why he died. So when we see God about him now, which is the voice of God, he came to give us the meaning of the blood. Yes. Then we understand that the blood is not a red liquid. No. Amen. But for Cain, the blood is the red liquid. For Cain, it remains like that. But for Abel, is the life. So when we're talking about the blood, it's not the red liquid. The blood is life Zoe. And that life is the life of God, eternal life. So you must know now what God is doing now and where is the life of God now. Amen. Because the religion of Abel is to know what God is doing now. But this religion here is to know only what God did in the past. They will tell you we worship Jesus. Jesus is, Jesus is, is the king. That's Ken's religion. He was a religious person. Amen? Verse 2. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Ken was a tiller of the ground. Someone told me, said, yeah, it's normal that Ken everyone gave what he was working on. Because Cain was on the field. Yeah, it's no more that Cain take what he had. But Abel was a shepherd. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like that. Abel knew that it was about the blood. It was about the lamb of God will die one day. That lamb, amen, that lamb, people know that, everyone knows that the lamb is an animal before it. So, when we came in time of uh, John the Baptist, now you see both religions are again together. So, John the Baptist was standing on the river Jordan, waiting for someone to come, the lamb to come. He was saying, the lamb of God will come. One day the lamb of God will come. So, the people was there, started looking for the animals with four legs to come. Amen. Amen. So the see animals fall legs maybe with uh, <laughs> horns to come. But John the Baptist, now notice, John the Baptist had the same word, but the meaning behind it was something different. So when John the Baptist was there, he was waiting for the lamb. And one day they saw a man with beard, with his robe, was coming upon the water. And John the Baptist said, Behold the lamb of God. People said, What? This is the lamb. That's not the lamb. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm saying that your five senses, they are there to deceive you. Yes. That's the reason why Balabalam said it, that your body, your five senses, they are your enemies. So don't look for your enemy outside of yourself. It's yourself. I mean, the children, they are happy today. The meeting is in English, isn't it? <laughs> they are following me. <laughs> Do you like it? Amen. <laughs> so we need to think about them as well. Amen. So, people, they, they were thinking that the lamb was an animal. But, in John the Baptist's mind, he knew that the one will come and the sign of the uh, dove will come upon him. That's going to be the lamb of God. You see, the way for him to recognize the lamb was the dove must come in the lamb. Mm -hmm. Not a four legs yeah. animal. So today, when we are expecting for Jesus Christ, don't wait for a man with the world. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Jesus is recognized by his character. Yes. When you see a man born in Kentucky with the pillar of fire coming down, but I don't look for Jesus Christ anymore. Amen. Because when Paul met the pillar of fire, yes. the pillar of fire said, I am Jesus Christ. Amen. But I want to know, the pillar of fire is the fullness of God attributes. Amen. So when you saw those fullness of God attributes coming in a man, 
I don't care if even it's a small baby. Uh -huh. Doesn't care. But because God is not about the size, yes. no man, no chance. God is about his character. So when you saw the pit of fire coming down, and you saw that man doing exactly what Jesus Christ did, brothers and sisters, don't look for Jesus Christ. Now, Abel knows that when I see a man standing on the pulpit, turning his back, descending the foot of the heart of the people, that's going to be Jesus Christ. Amen. So Abel is not looking for the pills, not the Lord. But I want to say that he, was, he used to dress like this because it was that time. Yes. Amen. He said, if Jesus comes today, yes, sir. in this age, he's going to dress like you and me. Amen. If Jesus goes, <laughs> amen, if he goes to Africa, he's going to dress himself like Africa. Amen. If he goes to America, like America. But today, we saw a man in Kentucky, in the United States of America, a man had this pillar of fire in him. He came to show us Jesus. And he preached the same one called, show us the Father. Amen. Show us the Father. Where is the Father? But when we say that, the body of Jesus Christ was available. Mm -hmm. And God was inside her. And today, your body is Amen. only a veil, Amen. and God is inside. Amen. Amen. Today, you say, oh no, God, we believe the message. Jesus is only in Barabana. It's wrong. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. So if you keep Jesus in Barabana, that means that Barabana message was a failure. He failed on his message. Because the, the man purpose of his message it was to give us the deity which was in him. Amen. So when Abraham left the sin, he let the deity come in the bright. Amen. So today, the veil of Christ is his bride. Amen. And Abraham said that the only place where he places the worship is in the bright. That means outside of the bride of Christ, there's your worship. Mm. God doesn't see you. You can you can shout the way you want. Mm -hmm. You see, you know when I see the relation of people shouting, making noise, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, they are wasting time. Amen. In that time, God, the pillar of fire was coming on the tabernacle. It was a place of worship. Yes. Philistines, Amorites, right, all of them, everything they can do, God is not there. Amen. The only way to meet God, you must come to the tabernacle. Yes. And today, the only way to meet God, Amen. you must come in the bride of Christ. Amen. And in the bride, there's everything. But I want to say that. Mm. If God is a creator, who is the bride? A creator. Mm. If God is almighty, who is the bride? She is the almighty. So all the character of God was found in the bride. Amen. Amen. This is the religion of Abel. We are not looking, something is going to come in the future. No, 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 no. When you see the last messenger coming on earth and leaving the earth, brother, that means all the promise was fulfilled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The problem is, but I want to say that you didn't message uh, uh, rapture. But I want to say this. He said, for the bread of Christ, the rapture is only a revelation. Amen. Notice, he said, for the bride of Christ. Amen. For, for everyone, the rapture is something else. But if you think that you are the bride of Christ, let me tell you today, according to Parapana, for you, the bride, the rapture is only a revelation. Amen. Because Parapana said, John was the type of the bride. In the book of Revelation chapter 4, John was called to come up, come up by him. But I want say that when John went there, he went to see the book. And in question and answers on the seals, on the seals, Barabana said that. Someone asked a question. He said, Barabana, can you tell when the book was open, there was a group of people singing. Was it the bride after the rapture? But one said, no, it's not. And then, after that, that brother said, Brother Bonham, 
Read the question again. Praise God. Amen. But I'm saying that, is everything okay? Is someone sick here? Oh, let us go back again to that scripture. But I want to start reading again uh, 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 Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. When he was reading, he says, Oh, the brother is right. Yes. It was the church after the rapture. Amen. Because John come up higher, the reason of it is what? Is to see the open book. Amen. When the book is open, that's when John was taken Amen. from the earth. Amen. That's the religion of Abel. Mm -hmm. So now Cain is still waiting for the things to come. The Bible said, you live, you live you live with dead substance. Mm -hmm. Everything you, 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 you eat. But the Bible said that, you know, if you have to eat in heaven, I don't know what you're going to eat. Because here today, all the food they are mixed up. I bring food. But I want to say that what is killing us today? He said it's the food. Mm -hmm. If you see people with cancer mm -hmm. today, it's the food. Mm -hmm. Go back the time of Abraham. They used to live 900 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, 900 years of life. Mm -hmm. There wasn't hospitals. Mm -hmm. No laboratory, no nothing. No ambulance. 900 years mm -hmm. of life. But today <laughs> it's even hard for us to reach even 60 or 65. See how people are dying. Go to hospitals, you see small children with cancer. But I was like, where the cancer is coming from? He said the cancer is coming from the food. So if you just think that we'll be raptured to go and eat that cancer food. <laughs> oh my, 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 my. So if you read the book of Genesis, you understand everything. The food for the man created in the image of God is the tree of life. Amen. Is the message of the hour. Amen. But the Bible said that the food was given to him to store, it was the word of God. Yes. God told him, go and store the food. And but the Bible said that food wasn't meat, wasn't, I don't know, rice or bread. It was the word of God. Amen. So when he was storing the food, he said, the, uh, how, how, how do you say that? What was the title of that, uh, that sermon? The, the right food for the due season. Listen. The right food for the due season. Yeah. So, but the man was storing the food for the bride. Because he knew that as a human being, you will never live over a thousand years. If that one day, God told him, go and store the food. Yeah. And me, I was born after, but the man died already. I came to find the food in the store. Yes. I just get the food and eat it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if my soul is going to look for the meat. Mm -hmm. No, 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 brother. Spiritual man uh, feed upon the spiritual food. Amen. The natural man feed upon the natural food. And God didn't provide any natural food for people. No, if you need food, you go buy the little. Mm -hmm. You need to spend money for that. Mm -hmm. If you need spiritual food, then the Bible is there for you. Amen? Amen. Listen, Genesis, this is the book of the generation of Adam. At the Genesis chapter 5, just to show that Cain was the son of the serpent, and he was the son, the son of Satan. The gene of Cain wasn't the gene of Adam. But God said because if it was the gene of Adam, how did he kill his brother? Mm -hmm. He can't kill his brother and bring his seed. So both natural and spiritual seed of Cain was from Satan. Cain is not the son of Adam in natural way, no. Is not the son of Adam. It's the son of the serpent. And serpent, the serpent was incarnate by Satan. Amen? Amen. Now you see that in the book of generation of Adam, in the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. So man was created, was made in the likeness of God. So who's God? 
God is spirit. So that means that the man who was created, he was a spiritual man. Because Adam made from the earth. Yes. That means that Adam, in his soul, he was an Adam. In his soul, he was Jesus Christ. Amen. That means you, in your body, is you, you are Clement. Yes. But in your soul, you are the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So Adam means from the ground, but the Spirit came from God. And God did it in purpose because God wanted to manifest His attributes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Men and female created He them and blessed them and called their name. Not their names. Name. Just one name. Adam. That means Eve also was called Adam. For God, when we talk about Eve, is Adam. So for God, when we talk about the bride, is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So the bride and Jesus Christ is the same person. As if and Adam was just the same person. In the day when they were created. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness. After his image and called his name Seth. The Bible doesn't say that Cain was made after the likeness of Adam. No, not also in the likeness of God. Because he wasn't the son of Adam, neither the son of God. He was the son of the serpent. Amen. Both Amen. natural and spiritual. But I want to say this. That's how a debtor is committed. Listen, spiritually, when you know him better by the word of God, by the intercourse of the mind, taking a lie of the devil against the word of God. So when we show the scriptures, Everything has been fulfilled. So you, you just refuse it because you want to keep what you have in your mind. That's what Bhagavan calls committing adultery. Because in the denomination churches we had so many microbes. We, we got infections, spiritually speaking. Now, when we come to God, God is trying for us to get it out. That Bhagavan said that if you get someone from the waters, the first thing you see someone in the waters, take that person out first. Mm -hmm. Don't leave that person like that. Now you need to pump him. Mm -hmm. Try to get out everything he's got in his tummy. Because that water is gonna is gonna make trouble. And then you can now feed the person with good food. So now what we have today? People they came in a the message, they came from Pentecostal churches, from Baptist churches, from uh, Jehovah's Witness, they came with that water in their tummy. So now when you are trying to bring now the water of life and give them to drink, they are just spitting out. Because they've got that full tummy. So the first thing to do is to get that food or that water out. It's a big issue. That's the main problem we have in the message. Yes. We have our own understanding. That's the reason why Abraham said that live not upon your own understanding. When you come to God, First of all, don't say that I, I, I know something. You don't know anything. <laughs> Amen. We don't know anything. So some people say, me when I came in the I came to the Lord, I was in the Baptist uh, uh, Baptist church. I met the Lord. How can you meet God in the Baptist church? You can't. Because God is not there. In the denomination, there's Satan. You met Satan. Yes, it was a religious matter, people singing, dancing, shouting, yes, but God wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Because God is the message of the hour. Amen. He's the message in your time. In time of Paul, if you want to meet Jesus, you need to see Paul. In time of Irenaeus, you want to see God, Jesus, you see Irenaeus. In time of Barabana, if you want to meet Jesus, you need to see William Barabana. Amen. And today, if you want to meet Jesus, you right. might see the bride of Christ. Amen. Amen. Otherwise, you are just making yourself histories in your mind. <laughs> Amen, God. You, you go to denomination churches, even message churches. When I'm talking about denomination, that means even message churches, they are all denomination. You see, we have bishops in the message. Do you know that? Amen. But Abraham said that Balaam was a bishop. 
This is someone who wants to become the bishop, the elder, the head of the church. I'm the biggest, I'm the oldest in the church. It's the seat of Bala. Mm. I don't care when did you where I've been in the message for 20 years. You, no, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about how many years, how many times the message is in you. It's not you in the message, but it's the message in you. Because some people, you know, I always say that you see the, the duck. The duck is upon the water. Morning, evening, upon the water. Do you know that the, the duck never bath? <laughs> never. The duck never bath. <laughs> It's still in front. But the duck is in the water. But never bath. It's a good of this. <laughs> so now, one, one, one day, when they make, see the duck, the duck is living in the water, isn't it? So when you see the duck, try to put water upon his back. It's going to do this. It doesn't like water. Even the duck stays in the water, but it doesn't like water. So many people in the message, they are in the message, but they don't like the message. <laughs> what Barabam said, how can you deny what Barabam said? How? Even it's control to your own understanding, but try just to say amen on that. Mm -hmm. If Barabam said something, who are you to say no? But today we find people like that in the message. 500 years in the message. But they never know the message. You know, when sometimes when I'm reading the message, I say, How come this small things and that man with big church, he failed to see this one? It's so easy. But they've got the religion of Ken. Worshipping with bad understanding. 182. That's exactly what Eve did, uh, done. With a spiritual antichrist. You see? First, that come by believing Satan's life. Now, if had that affair with Satan in her mind first. Because everything starts in the mind. So, before even Satan to come to Eve to put his seed, naturally speaking, Eve was deceived already. But what I said, why? He said, because she stopped to hear, to listen. To the lies of Satan. Mm -hmm. But I said the best thing she could do is to walk away. Don't stop. When she talk, listen to Satan, Satan start talking to her. Mm -hmm. But I said that Satan knew how to make babies in other way. <laughs> do you understand? Because Adam, as the son of God, he was designed to make children like his father. How does God make children? By the spoken word. Amen. God showed up with Jesus. When he came, God spoke and Mary was pregnant. Yes. Without any sex affair, Mary was pregnant. And Mary said, let it be done according to your word. Yes. And we saw that the spoken word bring in existence a child. And that child was the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Adam as a child of God, he was designed to create in that way. Mm -hmm. And any other way of creation is death. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why my friend said that as long as you come through a woman, your name is death. Mm -hmm. You have to die. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the people skipped the book of Genesis. So if you go back to the book of Genesis, everything is clear. Mm -hmm. You see that everything is easy to understand. So that tree here. Eve became the tree of death. <clears throat> now, what I'm saying, all the, the Bible says, everything comes from this tree. Mm -hmm. From this tree. The name is death. <laughs> you can't escape this one. Because you came from Eve. Eve means a woman. But I'm saying, you can be a bishop, even a pope, yes. whatever. Your name is death. Mm. The only way for you to live eternally, you must come from a man. Jesus. Who was a man? The Lord Jesus Christ. Because yes. God Amen. gave us his only son. Mm. God has got only one son. Mm. Not two. Like Abraham, he had only one son. Mm. 
And Muslim will tell him, no, 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 how to call him? Ishmael, what was the son of Abraham? No. God said, you didn't refuse to meet your only son. For God and Abraham had only one son. That son was Isaac. For God, Eve had only one son. Abel, I mean, Cain wasn't the son of uh, Eve. Because Eve was only the incubator. But I want to say that every life comes from man. Amen. Because the life of Cain came from the serpent. And my brother said the serpent was a giant, a big man, a tall guy. He came from the land called the land of Nod. It's a mystery, brother. Yes. I'm not going there. Yeah, I'm not going there. Yes. <laughs> Praise be to God. But I want to say that he came from somewhere and he was a man standing. So if he was a man, he was born, he had parents. Mm. Amen? He must have parents because God didn't really create him like that. Mm -hmm. He had parents. But I want to say that him, he knew he had what we call Maha. Mm -hmm. But I want Maha means the principle of creation. Mm -hmm. And Adam, the son of God, didn't know that. He knew that the only way for me to produce myself is by the spoken word. That the reason for the Bible preaching, the, sp the spoken word is what? The spoken word is what? The original seed. You can't be born again outside of the spoken word, but you can't be born again if it's not by the message of Bible. Yeah. So when someone's telling me that I was born again when I was in Baptist church, it's not true. How? It's not the spoken word. There are denominations. Amen. Hmm. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like people in the denomination. I like brothers and sisters in the message. All of them. But I don't like, I hate the system. Hmm. That system came contrary to what God's system was. Hmm. God wanted us to be producing ourselves by the spoken word. That's the reason in the church we must preach the spoken word. So because outside of the spoken word, there's no new birth. That's the reason why today in the churches you see the false birth. People proclaiming to be the message believers when they are not. Why? Because they can't believe what the prophet said. Amen? Yes, amen. That's exactly what Eve did. Uh, the, yeah, I've read this one. He said, first that come by believing Satan's life into the world of her mind. Amen? Amen? The womb of her mind. Now she conceived the sin. But there, nothing is done naturally. But the thing is, it doesn't stop there. But when said, that polluted her soul set death in the soul. Amen? That's why Jesus said, if you look upon a woman and lust upon that woman, you are sinning already. Yeah. The sin began there. But then the natural act taken place. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. both spiritual and natural. It's not only spiritual, but it's both spiritual and natural. Took place. Then Cain was produced. And that's the only way that a woman ever can commit a adultery against her husband is to first let some men talk her into it. I don't, know, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. If you see someone coming, <laughs> let me stop it. <laughs> don't talk to brother's wife. I don't believe in that. Brothers talk to brothers. Sisters talk to sisters. We stop them. Amen? Amen. <laughs> My brother's wife it's not my, my friend. My friend is my brother. If I want something, I'll call Brother Prince or Brother Joseph. Brother Joseph, I've got something to tell sister. Can you tell sister so and so? Mm -hmm. I don't have time to call sister. Sister, me, I don't call you. <laughs> you feel <laughs> That's the way Brother Brother told us. <laughs> That's why, because, Brother, we don't know who is who. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot in this message, Brother. Until some people they said, ah, no, 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 I don't, 
I'm no longer the message believers. Things are taking place in the message. No, no, no. I don't believe the message anymore. No, the message is good. It's just the people in the message. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. People in the message. Because they let down the principles. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm saying that when she stopped, you know, when, when, when someone comes to you, when someone comes to you, you want to do bad things, it doesn't come straight away. You start talking to you first, good thing. How are you? You okay? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> it's like that, is it? Do you, know, do you know how the snake catches the, the, the bird? The bird is, is a uh, bird flying, isn't it? But can you imagine the, the snake eats birds? The snake will be there just watching. <laughs> When the, when the bed will sit like that, <laughs> it will sit ah! So the bed will say, oh, this man is so good. And the best, no, no, it's your enemy. Don't, sisters, you go, sisters and brothers, don't let any girl talking to you on the phone, being kind to you. Oh, you're so wonderful. I like the way. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sister Erica, Sister Lucy, a man, even a brother, on the phone. How are you? Ah, I like you. I like your toys. No, 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 no. I'm not here to appreciate Sister Hope. It's Brother Joseph John. Mm -hmm. If she well dressed, Brother Joseph, your job to tell her, ah, oh, my wife, well, well dressed. Mm -hmm. I like you like that. Yeah. My job is to appreciate my wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we keep it that way. Because the serpent has done a mess. He has done a mess. That, that's the reason why we are in trouble today. Yeah. But I want to say that every time when you see hospitals, ambulance, cemetery, mm -hmm. is a woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you must be, be careful with women. Yes. Not only women, even with brothers. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you go back in the beginning, it's not only the woman. The woman was there. If Satan didn't come, so the woman was there. So both, you need to watch. Mm. Mm. Amen? Mm. Keep watching them for the wedding. <laughs> Don't have girl's friend. <laughs> Amen? You get wife when you get married. Mm. If you want to get married, you feel like I'm ready to get married. Mm. Come and see me or see your father. Mm. Amen? See your dad, say that I'm trying, I want this and that. Can you help me please? Mm. I'm, I'm always telling you, friends, there's nobody who will love you like your parents. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah. You see, I've known all the time when something happened in the family. I saw in my own family, by the Joseph family, and by the Prince family. Anything happened. If one child is in the hospital, you notice that all the family is going to the hospital. There's no more life. Mm -hmm. The family is broken because one person is not feeling well. Mm -hmm. So his sickness affects all the family. But as you will never find that love in the social care. No. Forget about it. But William, listen, hear what your parents are telling you. Brother Jess, Sister Erica, Sister Priscilla, all of you. Because they love you. Everything they do, it may be seems bad. You see, ah, uh, what that is telling you? No, no, it's love. Mm. If God doesn't rebuke you, that means that God doesn't know you. Yeah. We love you so much. We want you to be big bosses. I'm expecting to see Brother William in a big Jaguar. Mm. I'm joking now. Why not? Go and start business in Congo. Why not? You need to help our country. Mm. Amen. Yes, I want you to have big cars. I want you to succeed in your life. All you, all of you, go to school. Start. When you go to school, do what you, the reason why we, you are there. Mm. Do you understand? So you, if you want to succeed in your life, this is the time to prepare. Amen. Don't try to say, oh, let me go in the factory. No, 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 no. We are working in the factory. We are suffering. Yeah. Ah, no, no, no. That's what I just said, all of us. Yes. We, ah, let me tell you, we don't like what we are doing. Amen. We, uh, me, I don't like what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm just doing it because I want to feed you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I had another thing in my mind. Mm -hmm. I had a project, but the circumstances of life brought me here Amen. and I am what I am. Yes. So I, will, I don't want you to come in the same way as me. Don't have financial matters, financial difficulties. No, I don't want it. 
you Amen. must prosper. Amen. Prepare now. You know, because I don't have money, if I had money, I'll take all of you in Congo. So you go there, you see the children in Congo, mm. and you know mm. the, the privilege you have. Yes. Yes. When you see all those parents here, you don't know how we managed to get here. It wasn't his easy. <laughs> so everyone has got a story here. Yeah. Me, I came to say such way. Yeah. Why? Mm. I was coming here to give a better life to my family. Mm. This is what we call love. Yeah. Amen. 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 Ah. Amen. 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 <laughs> no, our children, we love you. We love you. There's nothing else than love. We love you, our children. So try to listen to us. Amen. Amen. I'm closing. What time is it? Okay. We still have time. Now, just look and find out if so or not. Search it out. And Luke, Luke comes over and names it right back and puts down from Adam. Not on one time is gain information in the world thing. So if you see the genealogy of Adam, you never found the name of Cain. Mm -hmm. It's not there. No. <laughs> he wasn't the son of Adam, he wasn't also the son of God. Mm -hmm. There's nothing physically and spiritually, nothing to do between Cain and God, or Cain with Adam. He was totally the son of the serpent. Mm -hmm. And even if Enoch, see, was the servant from Adam, where did Cain come in? Because the Bible said that, in the genealogies that Adam begot his son Seth, and Seth begot Jared, and Jared begot so and so, and down. And not one time was Cain ever mentioned. Then he could not be the son of Adam. Yeah. Amen. So, how in the denomination church people they say that Cain was the son of Adam? How? I don't care. Even you are in a message, if you say that. Cain is the son of Adam, you are there. Your place is there. Amen. 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 And my mom said this. Said this. So he had to be the son of the serpent. Amen. And, the, and he couldn't be a son without intercourse. That means intercourse means that without uniting himself, naturally speaking, we are mixed audience. You saw what I mean? Amen. Amen. If he wasn't, he was virgin born. Ah. If there was a contact between Eve and the serpent, that means that Cain was a virgin born. Because he was physical. Amen. Amen. Before to be physical, there must be a physical contact. Amen. If there wasn't physical contact only in the mind, that means she is a virgin born, then he will be the son of God. Can you imagine making Cain the son of God? No. You are killing the Bible. Yes. <laughs> I would prefer someone to take the Bible to burn it than to tell me something like that. Yes. He's the son of Adam. No. I want them to get out of that one time. Brother Jesus. You think it's there? come forth, it was a bastard. Mm. A bastard child. And he was full of death and caused death and everyone since then is death. Say amen. amen. Now you see it. It had to be what? Sex. Mm. Why you die? Why you dying if it wasn't sex? Mm -hmm. You see the reason why we die. Yes. Unfortunately we should die. <laughs> yes. Me, I don't like it. Mm. But, oh, so, there's nothing I can do. Mm -hmm. If I had a choice, I always say that, if I had a choice to fly to heaven, <laughs> I would like to fly without dying. Because that thing, there is cold coffee, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that thing. <laughs> you know, when you, are, when you are going old, now you start noticing that. 
Don't keep my money. <laughs> 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 Amen. No one left. Even Jesus. But I don't say that Jesus, when he was approaching his end, the time, yeah. his death, Jesus was afraid of it. Yeah. And Jesus was uh, sweating, mm. even blood, because of that. And he said, Not my will, but thy will be done. And today, he also said, Not my will, but thy will be done. Because Paul said, When you die, you get out of the prison. Yeah. So this body is a prison. Yeah. So when I come to that place, I say, glory to God, whatever, I'm afraid of it, but I'll go. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Now, the difference between both, of, both two was the revelation. I'm going to close there. Mm -hmm. But I said, But I'm saying this in the book of Hebrews chapter 5 and 6. As I said, here, Abel had the revelation. But here, this man was only religious. This one, this man loves religious religion too much. He, he, he loves jumping, shouting. No, it's not bad, it's good. But if you are jumping without the Spirit of God, it's a waste of time. But when I said that, I went to Africa. I saw witches speaking in tongues. I saw them putting a pen like this and pen, the pen writing by itself. But I want to say that if that the evidence, those people they must be the children of the, the child of God. But they wasn't. The big difference is the revelation, and the revelation is God Himself in the person. Amen. Abel had God in him, that's the reason why he was trying to worship according to God's mind. But Cain refused. He said, It's not my business. I do only what I want, God is going to accept it. That's what we have as a problem today. And people say, Oh, they are very religious. Oh, don't you know that the devil is religious? Don't you know that Cain was just as religious as Abel was? He was more religious than Abel. But I'm going to say that the great mystery today is the baptism of the Holy Ghost without sensation. Yeah. He, 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 he said again, the person of Christ living in you. Yes. And so he said, Amen. 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 Today we are living in virtual age. Today, you know, today. Long time ago, if you are you are a businessman, you must buy the microphone, you, you buy it two pounds, and you go and you sell it four pounds. But today you don't have to sell anything. Now, when you're doing business, so many people are doing business, you say, Where, where where's where's your your, your, your staff? They're in my brain. And everything you see, someone like Big Gen, he has got millions of pounds, even billions, in the brain. He's going to make a software. He's going to sell it. Now, Big Ed, his market is the world. But if you are selling physical things, your market is just here in Milton Kingdom. If you, do, you want to sell it in Congo, you have to travel over. But Big Ed is just sitting behind his computer. Just something like that. You know this one is a company? This. People are making millions of this one. This is the age we are living in. It's not the age of the physical matters. God made himself invisible. Everything, the city is invisible. Amen. The bride, invisible. Amen. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. People are still looking for visible matters, but everything is invisible to them. But I don't say that look unto and see. What's Jesus? Invisible. So, when you get the revelation, now you see Jesus. What I mean? I mean this, when Jesus came on his first coming. Jesus was there in Jerusalem. He was walking with them. One day he went in the synagogue. He was speaking to them. But those people sitting before Jesus, they didn't see the Messiah. He was there physically. 
Why? Because they didn't have the revelation. Amen. But when Simeon had the revelation, when he was walking, but I said that Simeon was blind. Yes. So now ask tell me, which eyes Simeon saw yes. alone with? Amen. So it's not about physical eyes. Forget about it, but if you are waiting for Jesus Christ, don't use these eyes. Yes. This one is going to deceive you. Yes. Use the spiritual eyes like Simeon. Simeon was walking like this. Even Hannah was walking like this. When he came, he said, Oh! Mm. Let's see what he said. <laughs> My eyes are seen the salvation. <laughs> so people say, Where's your eyes? Amen. Amen. Where are your eyes? It was about spiritual eyes. Like John Brian. Praise God. I'm healed. I can't see now. He was like this. John Brian. Are you healed? Yes. Praise God. Praise God. I'm healed. What are you talking about? I've heard that you want to that uh, man called Paro. Mm. And you said that you are healed. But until now, you can't see anything. So if you can see me, so tell me the color of my shirt. I don't know what I can see. Mm. But it's a false doctrine, isn't it? Yes. But one day, so you must conceive it first in your mind and you bring it physically. Mm. It was first in the mind. When Paul, uh, I mean uh, Peter, and all the disciples, they had the promise. Now, notice how they recognized the Messiah. Mm. The Messiah was there. When they brought Philip to Jesus, Philip said, See this man in whom there's no, I don't know how to say it. There's no corruption in him. I'll say that. And Philip said, How did you see me? He said, When he was under the tree, mm. I saw you already. And Philip said, Oh, this is the king. Not the physical looking, mm. but the works of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So the invisible became visible. Today, when you're looking for Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is visible in, in front of you, mm -hmm. but you can't see him because you don't have the revelation. Mm -hmm. Amen. All the rest of Cain, they will never see Jesus today. Yes. But if you have the revelation, that Jesus Christ is living in your body. Can you make your body in trouble? No. no. You can't love Jesus, you don't see him, and hate your body, you want to yes. see. So if you love Jesus, start first by loving your body. Amen. That is what you me. I just respect people. We are people of mistake. Don't take advantage of someone's mistake and try to make it story. You know, God God's salvation is by predestination. But I don't care what we do. I don't care what the person did. But God saved us before even our birth. Amen. So there's no way God to change his mind. Amen. But I'm saying if God saved you there, you'll never change his mind. You are saved away. You see Moses, you see Noah, after building the ark, and Noah starts drinking. He said, oh Noah, what, what, what kind of prophet is this one? Why can't the prophet is well? He's drinking alcohol. Not only that, he didn't stop there until he took all his clothes off. I said, no, 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 this is not a prophet. But his, one of his sons started to say bad things against him. He was cursed. Do you understand? Yeah. That's the reason why I want to preach it. You respect. You respect the child of God. You say, ah, this boy is just a small boy. He is a child of God. Because Samuel, when he was called, he was maybe 10 years old. He was small, but God called him. So the respect in the message of Barabara, we must have it. As Barabara himself, he used to respect people. I'm closing. Don't you know that King was just religious as Abel was? But he didn't have the revelation. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's it. He didn't have the revelation. Yeah, we all go to church. My, my. But there is some heart has got life. Okay. Amen? That's the word ones got the revelation of Jesus Christ in their heart. Amen? You see, having life is to have the revelation of Jesus Christ in your heart. So now what is the revelation of Christ? Who Jesus Christ is? Hmm. But I'm saying that is the big door to all revelation. If you say, oh, I've got the revelation of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus is there. This is not Jesus. <laughs> Amen.
Oh no, I've got a revelation. Jesus is there. That's not Jesus. But I'm saying that <laughs> the prophet, the man is not him. He said the pillar of fire is not, is not him also. But both together making him. This body was a man. So now when you start worshipping this body, you are in idolatry. Yes. Even when you start worshipping this body, but I'm saying that if this body was God, this body will never die. Yeah. As long as, I don't know, maybe even if the body was resurrected after three days, but it died anyhow. Mm -hmm. God will never die. But I'm saying that the body wasn't God, but God was living in that body. So now, worshipping this body, worshipping this body, you are in idolatry. Yes. So now tell me in the message how many idolatry we have. Yes. So many people don't have the revelation of Jesus, but I want to say that well, that's what gives life. And but I want to say, as I said, that the place of worship yes. today, if you want to find the Lord Jesus Christ, the revelation of Jesus Christ today is in His bride. Amen. Outside of His bride, there's no Jesus. Amen. If you don't have that, you are in Kent doctrine. Amen. Hmm. Let me finish. Amen. That's the one's got the revelation of Jesus Christ. Not by shaking, hey, I like this one. Not by shaking, not by jumping. Mm. This is my man speaking. Yeah. Not by joining a church, yeah. brothers and sisters. That's, I'm always telling you that. Yes. Yeah. Not by joining a church. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you feel. Mm. God has, as he said, what? But the revelation. Mm -hmm. God has revealed him. Yes. Amen. Closing. But now came worship. All of his carnal works, just like the carnal church today. Yes. They go to church, they worship. Mm -hmm. Ken worshipped. He wasn't an infidel. He was a communist. Kaya mm -hmm. communist. Mm -hmm. Ken was a communist. Mm -hmm. Now tell me now, how many communists we have in the message today? Mm -hmm. Politic people. I don't want to go there. Ken was a believer. He went to God. He was worshiping the true God, John. Amen? Mm -hmm. He built an altar. He done every religious thing that ever done. But he didn't have the spiritual revelation of the will of God. Amen. I like this one. So, Abel had the spiritual revelation of the will of God. What God wants me to do. Yes. He represented what was in God's mind. But him, he refused. Until God came to him, said, Ken, where's your brother? He said, oh, why are you asking me? How, how am I the burden of my brother? How am I the bodyguard of my brother? He said, no, 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 Ken, what happened to you? Why are you like that? Why don't you do like your brother? You'll be accepted, brother. But what I'm saying, there's no way for you to give the revelation Amen. to the serpent seed. Yes. He won't accept it. Oh. Even to show him. But when I'm said, this, this Jesus has come. He will say, no. I'm waiting. Amen. Why? Because it's the serpent seed. Amen. So God himself, but if God failed to convert Cain, don't think you can convert ah. the serpent seed. Amen. Don't waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> God himself, can you imagine God himself with a supernatural voice? Maybe I don't know how that voice was, but Ken resisted to get the revelation. God spoke to him and said, Ken, why don't you do like your brother? Just do exactly what he did. I will accept to you. But the serpent seed will never get the will of God. The serpent seed doesn't like the mind of God, he likes his own mind. mind. Wow. So it will be like church mm -hmm. now making his own principles. His own idea. Oh, you in a, some churches you said, okay, from today, all the brothers and sisters, no more Facebook. Mm -hmm. So they got all the smartphones, mm -hmm. they give them smartphones like this. <laughs> <laughs> they even made the phones. You, you know, uh, we call it like, like a phone. Mm -hmm. The black one. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'll take all of, all of you. <laughs> The smartphones. Uh, I'll give you the small one. Is it okay? No. <laughs> Amen. 
<laughs> so that's the, the first question I'm going to ask you. Is it, is it your fault? <laughs> Did you spend money for that? You see? Confession. Yeah. There's no confession for that. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, the best thing to do is to give you the word, yes. and the word will help you to manage the smartphone. Amen. So doing something else is contrary to the word of God. It may be seen to be good, but it's Ken putting his own mind. You can't lead the church with your own mind. The only way to lead the church is the word of God. Amen. Get the revelation of what God wants, then produce it. So the difference between of them is refuse the will of God, and him he took the will of God. Amen. That's the religion of Abel. We are the children of Edom because we receive the prophet with the will of God. Yeah. That's the reason why the pillar of fire came above his head. Yeah. Just to reveal to, unto us what was hiding in the back mind of God. Amen. God bless you. Stop. Amen. Amen. Let us see. He abides, he abides in me.